This is so awesome. This is perfect. You see that little smart car pass through that little ass bike lane? <laughs> Out of work early today, but not early because well, I started early, so I'm out of work early. It's five o'clock and I'm out of work. I have to go. I'm gonna head over to 14th Street. Going back to Best Buy, I'm gonna go meet up with Jose. And time for the most important thing in New York City how to catch a yellow cab. First thing you want to do is look for an appropriate corner. See this right here? Very busy corner. Two big streets coming together. There's no room to stop. There's, there's no sidewalks to stop. It's not an appropriate corner. Most important thing for when you're finding an appropriate corner, there needs to be cars parking. That means that they have a chance to stop on the side. Also, it has to be on the way that you're heading. You never want to catch a cab opposite of where you're heading because then they have to go opposite to come around. Meters running. Exactly. Now here's the thing, there's different kind of cabs. If it's a yellow cab, then you can pay with either card or cash, but the meter is running. So even if you're stuck in traffic, you're getting charged. Then there's those cabs, not a yellow cab, those are gypsy cabs. Cash only, and they have their own prices. Sometimes they overcharge you, sometimes they undercharge you. So you have to be careful. I didn't reach an appropriate corner, but I chose an okay corner because it's right at the corner where they can make a left and park, so they can park right here from there, and usually a lot of cabs come from there. It's all about flow and consistency. How constant is the flow of the yellow cabs? Is there a lot of yellow cabs coming? Is there little yellow cabs coming? You have to know these things. This is pretty perfect because there's a bike lane, so they can like stop right here at the light, or once again, they could turn the corner and wait for me right there. Perfect, and there's a few yellow cabs coming. now. It's all about hand placement. How do you use your hand to call a cab? In the movie, some people do the whip. That doesn't work. You simply just raise your hand. You don't want to raise it like a student. You just want to raise it like, like, like you have an elaborate question. Hey, one second, sir. Like that. It takes time. It takes practice. So you see there's more yellow cards coming. So we're going to see if we catch a yellow card. By the way, Anywhere on Times Square is a really shitty place to catch a cab. But who knows? Who knows what you got? Something crazy is happening on the next block because there's already a few people there. A few firefighters. And now there's just like a bunch more. And another smart car. So fucking weird. Due to an intense obstruction up on uh, 45th. It's not... You know, the flow and the consistency of yellow cabs is, is low. It's not happening. So, we're gonna have to go elsewhere. That's what we're gonna have to do now. The stupidest thing I did in my life. This is, oh, this is all ice. And I can't make it through here. Oh! After 20 minutes of trying on different corners, I'm back in where we started and I've noticed that it's pretty much a fail to catch a cat right now. So I'm gonna take the train. But here's the thing, this is why we failed. I'm gonna tell you right now. There's an obstruction of the block. Like, this guy is nuts. No jacket. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the train, but I'm gonna go uptown because Jose had like an emergency where he had to go. So he's not at work, so it makes no sense for me to go to his job when I could just go to the Best Buy closer to my house. But I'm gonna visit my buddies at Game Express on Fordham. So, I'm gonna jump on the train now. I'm going uptown, and that's the end of uh, a tutorial of how to catch a cat. Those techniques work, they just didn't work for me today. That's all, that's all. <laughs> Oh no.